Hey everyone, this is Charles Mitri from loungeboudoir.com and today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between boudoir photography and glamour photography. Now I wrote an article about three years ago um, with the same title and it's been one of my most consistently popular articles that I've, that I've written so I know there's a lot of interest in this and there may be some confusion about it so I'm going to give you my take on the differences between boudoir and glamour photography. Obviously, boudoir has a sexual intent to it, while beauty slash glamour does not. Uh, that's a big one. Wardrobe, of course. In boudoir, women are posing in lingerie or other types of intimate apparel, uh, implied nudity. With beauty slash glamour, uh, the woman is fully clothed. Fully clothed. In beauty slash, for the most in beauty slash glamour, the woman is mostly fully clothed. And there is thought to the type of wardrobe that she'll be wearing. It's usually of a higher fashion than let's say family photography, which could which can be more casual. In beauty slash glamour, there's sometimes a nod to period clothing or a gown that suggests a period piece of clothing, or it could actually be an authentic piece of period clothing. But the wardrobe is usually of a more elegant type, a more elegant variety. Another difference between boudoir and beauty slash glamour is that in boudoir, you're really emphasizing the female form in a sexualized context. And with beauty slash glamour, you're really emphasizing the face as in portraiture. Now you can have you know, environmental type portraits where you see the face and the whole body, but really the emphasis is on the face. Now the other type of glamour photography that I see is, is what I mentioned earlier, which is kind of commercialized glamour. This is where paid models are hired by an advertising company, production company, or the client themselves to help them sell a product or a service. And when they hire these models, they're usually representing youth, uh, vitality, sex appeal, and a lot of companies use that to, like I said, sell their products. These shoots can involve quite a big production team with hair and makeup and catering and grips and lighting and directors and producers and advertising people and the client uh, if you have a, a big budget. Whereas with Beauty Glamour, it's a very small shoot. You know, it's usually the, the woman and the photographer and maybe an assistant or hair and makeup person. Now. I think it's because of this commercialized glamour uh, that a lot of women have grown up with seeing in commercials, in movies, in advertisements that makes them want to get a beauty slash glamour shoot in the first place. They kind of see what other women are doing and they kind of see that look and they want that for themselves. However, recently over the years, there has been sort of a rebellion against that one size fits all beauty glamour look. And women are getting beauty slash glamour shoots to celebrate their own uniqueness, their own um, themselves, you know, just who they are as women. And um, which can be far from what the commercialized glamour uh, prototype is. So there's, there's been a shift over the years recently against that. And that's actually shown up in now commercialized glamour. They're using a lot more uh, variety with models, a lot more variety with ethnicities and, and, and overall looks and, and uh, even people, you know, with handicaps and, and things of that nature. So it's interesting how commercialized glamour influenced women to get beauty glamour shoots in the first place. And then there was a rebellion against that. And then the commercialized industry saw that and then they took what women were doing and then they used that now to be commercialized glamour. So there's another type of photography that is closely associated with beauty slash glamour and that's fashion. And I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier, but um, the beauty slash glamour type of photography is really a mix of portraiture and fashion photography. Now, fashion photography is its own genre all by itself. That's primarily about clothing, fashion, and lifestyle. I hope this article has cleared some things up for you and, and maybe um, made it a little easier to distinguish what boudoir is and what 
beauty slash glamour is. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. If you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up and or subscribe and I will see you at a future point in the YouTube universe.